Hello guys. So I am back with the normal equations now. So we, what we have done, let's revise a bit. We have done the following. So we have this data X I comma Y I and we did this model that Y I follows what beta naught plus beta one X I plus epsilon I where epsilon I follows are independent and follows some distribution with zero and sigma square mean and variance correspondingly. And then what we have done, we have done, we have seen that the corresponding loss function, right? We have defined the loss function, L of theta hat, but theta hat is this beta naught and not theta hat, but theta curl, the set of vectors, set of parameters is summation of yi minus beta naught minus beta one xi whole square, right? And what we did next? We did, we have to minimize this loss function to get the theta hat, right? That is beta one hat, beta naught hat and beta one hat. So we are to argument theta of L of theta. Okay, so this is the call theory of least squares, right? This is the basic idea of theory of least squares. So how do we use this to go to and co like correspondingly estimate that those theta hats? That is the aim of this video. That is done by something called normal equations, okay? So what is the normal equation? Normal equation gives rise to the minimizing equations from this corresponding like least squares, okay? So let's try to do it. So what we are trying to minimize, we are minimizing, minimize L theta hat, which is equal to summation uh, theta curl, summation yi minus beta naught minus beta one xi whole square, right? So how do we minimize it? So what we have theta curl is equal to beta, beta one, right? So how do we minimize it? We just do del b naught, sorry, uh, del l d l d beta naught, I is equal to zero and we do it. dl d beta one is equal to zero. From this dl d beta naught, we get following. If we just do beta naught with respect to square it, you get minus two summation of one to n yi minus beta naught minus beta one x. So like twice comes in here, gives to minus one is equal to zero. And in this case, we get minus two summation i from one to n. There's an xi minus twice x minus xi for this beta naught beta one xi into yi minus beta naught minus beta one xi is equal to zero. So these are the, these are called normal equations. Okay, so these are essentially called normal equations in the sense that they normally arise from this. I don't know why it's called normal equations. But yeah, so these are the two equations which are called normal equations. That's important. Very good. So now, based on these two equations, essentially we need to estimate what? We need to estimate this beta naught and beta one, okay? And what we got, the xi and yi's are given data. So they're constant. So we have got two linear equations. What are the linear equations? Summation of one, two, n, yi minus, beta naught minus beta one xi is equal to zero. So if we get from here that if we just do, so I, I will try to do it in terms of y bar one by n because that makes much more statistical sense. Minus beta naught minus beta one x bar equal to zero. And from this, what we got? We got summation of one to n is two and zero cancels, okay? X i y i minus we have this beta naught with corresponding x size, okay? So we get minus summation there's a one by n over here before this summation. So essentially what I am writing this down soon, but essentially what we got out of here that we got two linear equations in beta naught and beta one. I don't know, my computer hanged a bit. Just wait for a minute. Yeah, it's, it came back live. There's one by n over here, minus beta naught, 
x bar. Okay, we are dividing one by n over this minus beta one. What do we have? X i square. So I mentioned one by n x i square is equal to zero. So therefore, we got these two linear equations. This one. Oops. This one and this one. They look ugly in terms of corresponding algebraic form, but we need to solve this. Okay, now we, I will not solve this in class. It's like really a so you can solve this out. Essentially, what we will get is the following. Let me write down the equation. So you will get that y bar is equal to beta naught plus beta one x bar. Sort of the mean of the y's is predicted by this corresponding uh, like. Uh, linear equation that we have got. So essentially, what we'll get, we get the beta naught hat. Okay, this is the estimates. And another thing we get is there that if you solve the beta one hat, you will get that it's s x y by s x x. So what is this? This is summation of so s x y. Let me write the x x x x y summation one by n summation of x i. Let me not write out here. So it is very important. So we will tell about this more, about the beauty of this. But essentially, it means the following. It means that if you write out like this, summation x i is sort of the s of any two equations, a comma b is summation of a i minus a bar times b i minus b bar. Okay. And what we get there for s x y is equal to summation of x i minus x bar times y i minus y bar, and therefore s x x is actually sort of the variance of the not the variance but yeah, whole square. So this is the two format we will get. Okay, and uh, remember this one, and from here you got the two beta one hat, and from here you will get the beta naught hat. Okay, so you will get the following. You will get that beta one hat you got as s x x by s x x s s x y by s x x and beta naught hat. What was that? It's y bar minus beta one hat x bar. So it's sort of y bar minus s x y by s x x x bar. So these are the two equations you got. Okay, and uh, this is very important. So what we will do next in the next part of the video, we will try to see. The various beautiful things coming out of this uh, normal equations, okay, very important stuff, and we will do it and related to some some geometrical stuff, linear algebraic stuff, okay. We will see that how s x comma y is related to the covariance, okay. Uh, sorry, it's related to the covariance. It's related to the inner product. What is inner product? Dot product of two vectors, okay. We will see this. So see you in the next video with this beautiful mathematical. Geometric stuff. Bye bye.